Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another Photoshop challenge. Yes, it's a design challenge again and uh, I'll challenge myself to create another poster as soon as I can and I get a lot of good feedbacks from my last video. Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for your love, comments and all your support. And I gained 500 plus subscribers on one day. That's a huge achievement for me. And thank you guys again. And let's turn the timer on. Control N, let's create a new composition. I'll just go for 1080, 1350, create, create, and then let's uh, drag and drop this image over here. I know I'm going to use this one, but, uh, and then this one and a glue image. Let's drag and drop this over here too. I'll just turn the visibility for now, and then let's create a new solid. Let's see, solid color. And for now, I'll just go for some kind of dark color, and let's, go create a rectangle i don't want a stroke okay let's see and let's create a rectangle all right now let's drag and drop let's make a copy one more one more copy let's do one more time let's move one more time let's do all right let's see i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> let's select all of them and let's make a big copy yep all right now let's select all those make a group Control g Control t let's make it maybe this is too big yeah let's do it from there i don't know let's keep it somewhere over here now what to do let's make a copy Control j okay I'll, I'll add a text and then let's add a text so that number is 27 let's write a 27 Control t and let's go for Maybe I'll just use the same font. Oh, it's all right. Let's keep it above this one. Control T. Let's get away bigger. Maybe somewhere around here. All right. Now let's make. Let's merge this group. Control merge this group and let's keep it somewhere over here. And let's create a clipping max. Okay. It doesn't look that good. Now maybe release the clipping max. Go to to filter. Let's apply a liquify and let's increase the brush. Yep. Let's add some kind of distortion. Yep, something like that. Click OK. Now let's see. Now right click create clipping max. Okay, this is looking a little better. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. What about that? All right, let's see. Oh, that feel. Let's change the feel to maybe some kind of lighter blue. And let's go for the same text color. Yeah, maybe something like that okay now let's make a copy of this one let's keep it over here Control click let's make a selection and select this layer and create a layer max all right now let's go back to the selection layer max go to the brass and let's get back those parts so let's see how it looks yep, maybe something like that maybe around here too let's go back those parts all right now let's add some text so I'll go over here i don't know e what to write let's go over here let's e v v e r let's change the color to white Control t let's make it a little bigger yep something like that and maybe 
let's change the font let's go for uh, uh, okay let's go for the bold one and let's make another copy uh -oh. Uh -oh. and the R control T let's move it somewhere over here all right now let's add a rectangle and yep let's keep it as white let's move this over here oh let's select this both layer let's move it around here W H A T Y Control T. Let's make it a bigger. Let's select those all. Control T. Let's bring it maybe somewhere over here. Let's oh um, what where is that? Let's make this rectangle a little smaller. I think this is too big. and make it a little smaller from this side okay and let's make this a copy and let's make add another text I don't know what I'm designing Control T, let's keep it somewhere over here. And let's increase this one. Yep, maybe something like that. Like that. Or what else we can add? Oh yeah, let's add this. Oh okay, I think we already have that one. So let's turn that on. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. And let's see, let's uh, change it to um, multiply. Okay, now let's keep that. Okay, let's keep it some on the same spot. Let's add what else we can add. Okay, let's add some shapes. Let's go over here. Let's, yeah, let's go for the same shape. <laughs> Okay, uh, control T, let's make it a little rotation, yep, so make a copy, control T, let's move it somewhere over here, let's make it a little smaller, let's add, yep, let's see how it looks, no, let's move it somewhere over here. I don't know let's see let's make a one more copy again control T and let's keep it maybe somewhere over here alt and oh. let's make this one a little bigger yeah maybe something like that and what else let's add another text over here T yep, maybe somewhere over here. Let's add another text control T. Let's rotate it. Maybe somewhere over here. And let's oh yeah, maybe let's turn that on. And then let's drop down the opacity. Yep, maybe something like that. Okay, and what else we can do? Let's do some adjustment over here. So select this layer, go to filter, go to camera raw filter, and let's increase the color no noise reduction, increase exposure a little bit, increase the clarity, increase the texture, and maybe let's drop down the vibrance. Okay, and what else we can do? Let's see. It's not looking too good, eh? 
so maybe let's add a small rectangle over here let's make a copy let's add maybe one somewhere over here let's add my clips okay and then what else let's make a copy control 3 and let's move it somewhere over here right click create a clipping max control T and let's change the eclipse color to the same color yeah, let's make it a little smaller control T and let's keep one over here control J control T let's move one over here control J control T let's keep maybe some over here so yep that's the wrap up and uh, i hope you guys learned some techniques from this video like uh, layer masking and liquify hope you guys to see your next video till then you guys stay safe